This is a busy week at the Florida Studio Theater. They're wrapping up their 44th winter main stage season with the world premiere of a play called Honor Killing. Honor Killing is exciting and provocative, a brand new play that will hold you spellbound as it tackles themes like cultural division and women's issues. Joining us now is a cast member, and this is J. Paul Nicholas. Welcome, Paul. We thank are so happy much. to have you here. Thank you. Now, and thank you for killing. having me on a day when we have rescue animals, <laughs> Cuban salsa, and ceviche. <laughs> <laughs> what a day. All covered for you. Perfect. Yes, I'm you so fit grateful. right in. Yeah. <laughs> so what is Honor Killing about? Tell me about the play. Well, um, I'd rather not give too much away, but basically it's a story of an American journalist, a woman named um, Allison Davis, who is trying to get into Pakistan to cover uh, a, a story of an intense event that happened. And they won't let her in because she's written some stories about Pakistan and, and their government in the past. Mm. And so her boss through the New York Times is trying to get someone in there to cover the story. And, and then it becomes about uh, culture, a clash of cultures mm -hmm. um, at, at its core. But there's romance and there's humor and there's some very intense dramatic moments, um, so it, ha it has it all. This is a world premiere, and yet mm -hmm. it's been on your stage before in a different form, right? Right, um, and I'm a guest artist, not my stage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so what FST does is they will introduce plays to their audiences, and I think this is so smart, through reading series. Mm -hmm. So they'll have a new play reading uh, one year and people will come and attend and give feedback what they think and the artistic director Richard Hopkins and the director as well will have ideas about how to improve it or how to present it at FST and then you might see that play the following year and this was one of the plays that was read last year uh -huh. as I understand I was not a part mm -hmm. of that I understand it has a lot of high-tech involved very mm -hmm. high-tech involved that really brings the story alive uh, it does um, so there are emails and text messages and there are six video screens around the stage. Oh, so wow. like on that example there, we are seeing um, a screen showing her a countdown to when her plane's gonna take off and when her cab's gonna arrive. And she's having a Skype call with, with a, a character played by some very good looking guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and she's talking to her sister on Skype and she's texting and she's emailing. So there's a lot of that. And um, I have not heard one uh, f audience members say to me so far that it's distracting. Mm. Ah. I mean, I was wondering if it was going to be distracting, but it's not. The way that Richard has directed it um, has m put it, in s uh, made it in such a way that it is the, the information goes very quickly, but not so fast that you don't keep up. It reaches all of your senses. Yes. It's a new so form of storytelling, really. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, if the reading that you all did last year, or that the theater did last year, got to really tackle the story and let the audience hear the story, this is a, a huge layer to add on top Absolutely. of that. Absolutely. And I think Richard Hopkins, the artistic director and also the director of this program, of this show, deserves a lot of credit because a lot of theaters, I understand, I heard through the grapevine, we're afraid of it because of all the technology. Mm -hmm. oh, um, but he not only had the courage to do it, but he did it in such a way that it's clear and it helps the storytelling and it's not distracting. And it happens every night, knock every on wood. Night. That's every what night. I'm impressed <laughs> by. So I bet that part's challenging. All these different ingredients yeah. coming together. Yeah, uh, that was a challenge. Uh, not only presenting it, because I've never seen anything like that before, and neither has anyone else, but t timing it in such a way so. Mm -hmm. There's an actor on stage talking to another actor on stage, but they're not actually looking at each other because they're having a Skype call in two different mm -hmm. countries. Mm -hmm. And to time the stuff that you see on the screens so that it's not distracting, so that it helps the storytelling without distracting the actors on stage because we are live on stage mm -hmm. uh, trying to be these characters. Um, so I think it's done really, really well. Well, it sounds like this is the way it's going because we're so used to all of these other elements. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're used to focusing on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So w th I think the audience will be right there with you. And we are used to, in this day and age, communicating like this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. instead mm -hmm. of like this. Uh -huh. um, and this blends both in a very smooth way. Is yeah. there a message in the play? Yes. Um, <laughs> And I think, I'm guessing, uh, this is my opinion, yeah. I think the message is be aware that your culture and your view of the world and your perspective 
is not the only one, and yes. that's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, other people see the world a different way, and different religions, and different cultures, and that's fine. Yes, mm -hmm. that's wonderful. I can't wait to see this. We've never yeah. seen anything like it, right? That's what everyone says to me. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, okay, on my bucket list. Don't miss this one. It's Honor Killing at the Florida mm -hmm. Studio Theater. It is playing now through May 25th, so it's going to be gone soon. Visit the floridastudiotheater.org for tickets and more information. We'll be right back with a dog adoption story from ABC7. And ceviche 